All right, guys, we got some really good news right now. We know when all the DLC is going to be out for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. The game has officially come out today. Not, of course, counting the three days early access. This is just the actual release date of the game. It came out about an hour ago. And it seems like because of that, we actually got this information here. Very, very important. Now, before we talk about the specifics, I do want to confirm I do have a guide improving your defense if you want to get better at Spark and Zero defensively. I recommend taking a look at this video, at least, you know, seeing some of my advice there and taking it in terms of ranked matches and things like that. I think that this could help you really figure out, okay, how can I get better with my defense and what should I do? Very important there, but let's continue on here with the main stuff of this video. Right here, DLC 1, to be released around quarter 1 of 2025, contains playable characters from Dragon Ball Super Superhero. DLC 2, also to be released around quarter 1 of 2025, contains playable characters from Dragon Ball Daima. Then DLC 3, which is to be released in quarter 2 of 2025, contains playable characters from Dragon Ball Daima as well. So... With that, you do need to consider the fact that, okay, superheroes only getting one DLC pack. A lot of people thought it was gonna be two superhero packs and one diamond pack, but it seems like they're going all in with Daima, which is fair. And, you know, being fair, you could think, oh, maybe this is not enough characters, right? Because they say it's more than 20. I'm thinking it's either going to be eight characters per pack or at most nine per pack, because if it was 10, then it would obviously be more than, um, What's it called? It would be 30, right? And even then, if it was nine, that's over 25. So why wouldn't they say more than 25? You know, that, this is my thought process. I think eight per pack seems appropriate to me. They could do seven, but I'm thinking eight right here because especially with Daima, we, we might get like Goku Mini, Vegeta Mini, Piccolo Mini, like all these characters. We don't know what exactly is going to happen in Daima. We have to wait and see. But uh, the main topic here is going to be superhero because we actually know who shows up in superhero. So from here, I'm going to talk about what I think will be coming in terms of the DLC characters. A lot of them easily guessable, but you know, there's more characters that participate than you may think. Now we do have Goku, Vegeta, and Broly, right, who were on the planet with Beerus and Whis. None of them need a new character at all. Like they all wear the same outfits as they did, you know, in game. The outfit for Goku Super, Vegeta, well not Vegeta Super, and uh, Broly actually, you know, Broly could use a new costume. So like, I'm gonna talk about costume possibilities because obviously not every character is going to get an actual character. I think Krillin and 18, these could be free DLC costumes. I think they could put costumes just as a free update, right? They could just add these costumes in here and simultaneously with the release of the game um we'll talk about or the dlc we'll talk about go out in a second here they could do the same for broly where he's wearing the like black outfit right here or okay, it doesn't show right here but in superhero he wears the black top we know that if you take a look here vegeta I, I, does it show the superhero version yeah vegeta is wearing his boo saga outfit right so maybe they'll give him a costume like that for vegeta super goku again he looks the same they took his superhero design are uh in dragon Ball super broly he also wore this key as well so not really that big of a deal but besides that i think we can get into the big boy right here gohan one of the main characters in dragon Ball super superhero obviously you know we go all the way into beasts and stuff like that we have gohan super saiyan gohan then we have ultimate gohan now there's a chance that gohan super is like his own character and they name him gohan super because we have gohan kid gohan teen gohan adults and then ultimate gohan those are the four separate characters for gohan in particular here we get to see that as well gohan kid teen etc etc you guys get the point or there's also future gohan as well i guess right but um with that in mind, I think that this could be just a costume for Gohan Adult, right? We saw that the Resurrection F Gohan is a costume for Gohan Adult, right? Um, so it's completely possible they end up doing that. We also saw that the Dragon Ball Super Gohan from the Tournament of Power is also a costume for this guy, right? It'd make a lot of sense if they just make him a costume. I think that'd be fine. I don't think it's like these guys... I mean, Ultimate Gohan... And this Gohan do enough moves in the like actual movie to get its own character, but they could give that to Beast Gohan. 
I think for sure this guy will be his own separate character at bare minimum. He'll be like Gohan Beast Super or something like that, or Gohan Super Beast. Kind of like how UI Goku is his own separate character, and just like how Ultimate Gohan is his own separate character. That makes a lot of sense, or else it's taking half the DLC pack. And as we talk more, I think there's other characters that'll end up deserving their own spot much more. Next up, we'll talk about his Power Awakening Piccolo. He could be a costume, but I think that they should make him his own character, honestly, Power Awakening Piccolo. Then we have Orange Piccolo. You know what I forgot? Giant Piccolo, Orange Piccolo. They, they could add him, they might not add him. I feel like maybe they will make this guy a costume and then Orange Piccolo separate and then Giant Orange Piccolo. That might be what they do. So that's, okay, let's say Beast Gohan, Orange Piccolo, Giant Orange Piccolo, that's three characters. The Gammas, obviously they're gonna be in, they're gonna get their own characters. We saw them in the DLC pass. They are already confirmed, right? But obviously you would assume that they'd be in there as well already. So we have Gamma 1 and Gamma 2, that is five characters. I think we'll get Cell Max, of course, very huge, six characters. I mean, seven, we'll get Pan as well. I think Pan would make a lot of sense. Then for the eight spot, I actually did put, um, we can close this, I did put Fat Gotenks, but I guess they could just like not include him. And then like, what if they make Fat Gotenks a costume for the other Gotenks? I don't know if they would do that. He, um, they just might make Fat Gotenks his own character. That's what I'm thinking. They might make him his own character. And then it could be like, we have two like low DP cost characters here. Then this guy, the Gammas will be decent DP cost and Orange Piccolo and Beast will be higher DP cost characters. Could be what I'm thinking here. Just kind of get a blend of that. Thinking about DP cost, I guess. Maybe it could be what they do. Um, that makes a lot of sense to me, I think. Again, it could be a thing where maybe they don't even include Paco tanks and make Power Reckoning Piccolo's own character. But I think like these characters will be costumes and then those specific eight characters will likely be the DLC. Again, in terms of other characters, they could do Dr. Hedo. We have Magenta. I would assume they're not gonna make it in with only eight spots, realistically. It just doesn't make a lot of sense to like, like imagine they exclude, I mean, they could exclude, I guess, Pan maybe, but I would say Pan plays more relevance. Well, I mean, technically Hedo did create get the Gammas and so Max, but in terms of fighting, she does more. But anyways, that's all I'm gonna say. I think at the very least, like six of those are completely confirmed. Beast, Orange, Giant Orange, the two Gammas, and then Cell Max, 100%, they're gonna be part of the pack. From there, just a little one or two characters or so, but thanks for watching. Let me know who you think is gonna be in the superhero pack, or even Dymo, and I'll catch you guys next time.